yesterday RJ completed his 1,000 workout. <laughs> so we've been watching our food for six weeks straight and now it's time to treat, which is perfect Ooh. for the holidays. Today's episode, we will be reviewing four desserts from around the world. We will be looking at presentation, smell, texture, and taste. So for this holiday, when you head to a party, be the star by bringing something different. Now let's dig in. Mmm, I'm excited. All right, so our first dish here is Indian cuisine. So what we have here is, um, this is called, how do you say this again? How do you say it? <laughs> Golub Jaman. Golub Jaman. I think that's how you say it. I don't know. That's how we say it. <laughs> so correct us. <laughs> yeah. So this is an Indian dessert, which is made out of fried dough balls that is soaked in, um, it looks like a sweet syrup. Yeah. And it has a delicate rose flavor. Um, I think Galab Jaman means rose water. Correct me, is it rose water? Sounds right. So, um, and it refers to a berry of a similar size and color. So let's give this a try. Okay, so first presentation. So you go to, I picked this up at uh, Indian Palace. They're just down the street from us. Kind, sweet lady working there. She actually hooked us up with one. They're a buck each. They're a buck each. Oh, for one ball was a dollar? One ball was oh. a buck each. So I don't know if I paid uh, commercial prices or uh, if that's what they normally priced, but uh, <laughs> I don't know. So presentation, I mean, it, it wouldn't be authentic if it didn't come out of a styrofoam cup, right? Mm -hmm. It's got the plastic lid. Boom. You open her up and um, there we have it. So this is it here. Kind of looks like it's in a like a brown sugar, thicker syrup, syrup water. Syrup. And the Filipinos have something similar to this, right? Jerome, what's it called? Um, the balls, the, the ball sticky ones. balls, yeah. Okay, sticky balls. Yeah, it's sticky the, balls. Uh, some some uh, sesame seeds on it. Yeah. Okay. Both sides, good. So this was a dollar each, so let's let's savor it. <laughs> All right, so it seems okay. softer. Okay. Seems softer, it's gooey. That's how big it is. It doesn't really have a smell. Like I can't really smell anything. So right away, I pick it up and it's heavy. It's, oh it's, yeah, it's dense. It's dense, okay? And uh, we're gonna have to track these in my fitness file later. All right, so here we go. Yeah, that's good. You can definitely taste like ha it has a thicker outside and um, the inside is soft. Definitely doesn't taste overwhelmingly sweet. You, I you find over okay oh, so yeah. I, I like my stuff really sweet like i put crazy amounts of stevia in my tea and neri whenever neri drinks my coffee if i make her coffee or i'm having my drink she's like it's too sweet and she will never have any i, I prefer <laughs> to make my own coffee as much as i appreciate rj trying to make me coffee it's too sweet for me yeah <laughs> so i don't know i i personally like it but again i like it sweet i'm a i'm a ice cream cake kind of guy and neri's a soft I'm a cake person. Yeah. I'm a cake person. I like this. It is very sweet. I think one ball is enough yeah. for me. Um, even half a ball. Yeah. So um, I think they only, that's why they only gave us a couple of balls because it's really sweet. I do like it, but I can't eat a lot of it. Yeah. It'd be interesting to see how they make it. It would be interesting. But you know, all this extra syrup. Yeah. I, I don't need the extra syrup. So for my people that eat this, <laughs> Do you guys drink the syrup? Drink the syrup? <laughs> <laughs> that would be the main question. I probably would. <laughs> Jerome would drink the syrup. <laughs> All right, let's, let's see what we got online here. So, yeah, so we got uh, Mark Galarnix here. Mark, have you ever had Gullab Juman? We've got Charlene. Hey, Char, loved your post this morning. Mandy, of course. Melinda Muscles might be a little bit hungover or sore legs from dancing. Oh, yeah, yeah. She was dropping it low, dropping yeah. it low. A lot she of, wanted to go fast. A lot of fun. Fast. Faster, 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 right? Muscles, faster, faster, faster. That's what she kept saying. All right, so that's one that's from India, right? That's an that's Indian, Indian India. cuisine. What do we got next? Okay, so our next one is Italian, right? <laughs> yeah. So this is what it comes like. Um, and, and guys, d sorry if we, we just picked kind of what was like the most convenient. Mm -hmm. um, if you have something better in your culture <laughs> that, that you guys say like that doesn't represent us, we completely apologize, but this is what we had, <laughs> okay? <laughs> All right, so a few years ago, actually, a friend of ours gave us one of these cakes for Christmas, and yeah. so I thought it would be good to bring it on the show, yeah. and I actually picked up this cake from No Frills for about, I think it was $12.99. Mm. Um, it is a Pandora cake. Um, it's made from a rich eggy dough explaining its name of golden bread 
And uh, this cake is baked in an eight-pointed star-shaped pan that gives its signature form. It's modeled after the mountains near Verona, where the cake was first made. So let's give it a try. So there you go. It's got a history, right? It's interesting how these all these desserts have a, a history. So presentation, I mean, cake in a box, <laughs> right? Um, cake in a box. <laughs> cake in a box, <laughs> right? Like how long did, was it in the fridge? No, I found it like right <laughs> where uh, the bread aisle is. So how long should bread, like I wonder like what's okay. the expiry on you these know, things? It's funny because I did look at the expiry date <laughs> okay. and it says... It says June, June. Okay. June 2022. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. So, uh, yeah, let's let's give it a try. I I think the box is, is kind of cool. It looks like a present. Take it out. You know, it actually had a handle, but this oh, okay. one didn't have a handle. But it oh, comes with a handle. Did you get a discount? I did, I, mean, I did get a discount. It was the last one, and I was really needing this. Okay. Dessert. So, apparently, it's popular. It's the last one. I know no frills. One. Everybody's getting this. Yeah. And, by the way, guys, I don't know if you noticed, but the old... The dome is shaped. The dome is shaped. Thank you, Mark. Mark's tuning in right now. Mark, thank you for matching my donation. So um, we did 250 shares. I didn't ask anybody to do any donations. So Mark, I appreciate you going above and beyond. And uh, so we did 250 shares. I was gonna donate $2 for every share. I donated 500 bucks or I'm going to donate. Mark already sent me that he's donating another 500. We had Dina from Hair Obsession. She donated 250. And then another member, Helen Kennedy, uh, she does mission work. She donated 200. So that's 450 bucks. So, um, and then Jan donated 20. So all I need is 30 more dollars from Jerome. <laughs> and, <laughs> and then that will be 1500 bucks that wow. we're going to donate to Cancer Care. Okay. So that's $30 from Jerome $30. to get that yeah, 1500 bucks. <laughs> all right. So let's go. We got uh, Mark saying Leslie loves it. She loves the gulab jamun. Keep going there. Okay, keep keep going. going. Okay. Yeah. So the cake comes like this. Uh, there's some sort of package. What is this? Um, oh, you got to put it into the bag. Oh, I can't so, read. It's on English. Okay, so right away. <laughs> that's how you know it's true Italiano. So I'm going to just... Okay, so step one. Dope lettura della... Confessioni, sigu con attizioni. Don't know what that means. Okay? There's pictures. There's, there's pictures. pictures. There's yeah. pictures. So basically, number one is you get the bag, you put it, you so you put the thing like this, and then number two, we just put this on top. Easy. Okay, yeah. so you put powdered sugar on top. And I read that in Italian just now. I just I don't know my brain. Here's, here's my brain works read that some way. More. I want to hear some more <laughs> of your Italian. Oh my Italiana. Okay, so. Uh, Okay. No, I'm not even gonna try. Oh. <laughs> so, so sugar in Italian is zucchero, zucchero. Okay. Wheat starch, amido de fermento. Okay. And flavorings is aromi, aromi. So you need the bag. So you put the thing in the bag. Yeah, you need that bag. That came oh, I need it. this bag? Yeah, they don't, oh. they don't mess around. Like, oh, okay, everything gets it's... used, okay? So you got to put the cake back in. So look at, it, it's a big dough. Oh, it's dense. It's pretty dense dough. Okay. okay. So then we got to get this powder ready, baby. Mm. So hey, if anybody wants to come over today, yes. we got cakes, okay? There you go. Cake and coffee. Cake and coffee. So yeah, that's part of the, so you just pour this on. Look at that. Oh, buddy. There you go. It's called a Tony Mountain. Tony Mountain. All right. So there's your icing. Now what you do is you close the bag, Neri. I close the bag? Just close the top and then just shake Here, it. Here, you do it. You shake do it. it. Shake, 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 shake it. Uh oh So yeah. See? Now it looks like a oh, mountain. Yeah. yeah. It looks like a mountain with... Snow. Snow on top. I'm just gonna put <laughs> this. Oh, you used your hands. Jeez. That's good. Mm. Okay, so how do you mm. cut it? Is there directions on how to cut it? Yeah, you just cut it down the middle. Or just cut it. Oh, okay. It says, um, a fete con cotelo a lama. Because here they have the star cake, right? Oh. So there's, I guess, two different ways to cut it. Oh. Yeah, maybe you cut it across. Oh, didn't I have to put it on its side? Yeah, no. No, no. Let's, we're just gonna cut it this way. Just cut me a piece. Okay. 
I'm actually excited to try this because that sugar was good. So who's ever had a cake like this? Who's ever had this Italian cake? You guys, let us know in the comments. Check in here. We got Jesse, the motivator. He's on. Jill Melnick. Jim Melnick is on. How are you, Jill? Hope to see you at the gym three to five times this week. We got Sheila Arnuko and, of course, the killer, Kathy Body Body. All right, so I'm just going to eat the top because I'm a muffin top guy. <laughs> All right, let's go. I'm going to make mine extra icing sugary. Mm. Mm. Coming from a box, very good. Mm -hmm. That is really good. It's nice and soft, kind of spongy. Yeah, and you know what? This Light. would be good with uh, an espresso. Yeah. An espresso. Mm. That's really good. Coming from a box, wow. Mm -hmm. Oven baked cake, five stars. Love it. It's not heavy. Oh, Maria, Maria's on Sorrentos. Oh, Maria, yeah. is this a true? Is this, yes. <laughs> yeah. Let us know. Maria's did Italian. The, <laughs> did the Italians eat this cake, or is this just something that you? Or can't, is it like Canadian? Yeah. Canadian Italian. Is it something that you think that you would give to somebody, but you don't? Kind of like what we have later. Okay, so actually, mm. we did receive this cake. A couple of years ago from a friend who was from Italy. Mm -hmm. So that's why we thought this would be an Italian dessert. So there you go. Maria has it every Christmas. Does she? So Maria, there's a shortage at No Frills, okay? <laughs> Maybe in the comments you can let us know where, we, where else we can get these cakes. Okay, so let our viewers know. What do we have next? Okay, next is um, Russian. Oh, Ooh. here it is. Okay, so one of our special members, Galit, gave us this cake. It's called a uh, Tort Smetanic. How do you say it, RJ? <laughs> Tort Smetanic. Ask Jerome. Jerome, how do you say it? He's the English major. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so basically, Tort oh. Smetanic mm. is named Smetanic. Smetanic. It mm. means a cake with sour cream, and I heard that there's a lot of sour cream in this. Yeah. So this cake is layered with, um, what is it layered with? Lots of sour cream. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, the other way. <laughs> no, Jerome, no, no. <laughs> so it's moist from a lot of sour cream, and the ingredients in this is uh, layers. And I don't know. It's <laughs> <laughs> so so lots of sour, sour cream. cream cake. Here we go. Here I'll tell you. Of course. Well, number one, sour cream powder. Number two, sugar. Number three, wheat flour, egg powder, whey powder, dairy. So there's going to be a little bit of protein. Oh, protein. Coconut oil, cocoa powder. Man, that's not sounding too bad at all. Sunflower oil, right? And uh, it comes cold, right? It comes cold? It comes cold. And thank you, Galit, for this cake. I asked, can we get a small piece of something? <laughs> Thinking you can go to a bakery and just get one or two of these things. So we're stuck with all these cakes. Again, anybody that wants to come over, please come over. I will whoop your ass in ping pong. So the frosting <laughs> is actually made out of sour cream also. As well as the cake. So there's lots of sour cream. And it's funny because I said to Galit, I said, you know, is it a small piece? She's like, yeah, it's small. Yeah. And she gives me the cake. And that's I said, a, She Galit, said that's a small piece to this her. Is a big <laughs> piece of, this is a that's big That's a cake. cake. It's a whole cake. It's a whole cake. So Maria says you can go to De Luca's or Piazza De Nare. Okay. You can probably get it there. Thank you, Maria. We got Carlo Guzzi on. Thank oh, you, Carlo. Carlo. Thank you, Carlo. So yesterday we had our... We had our Christmas party, my 1,000 workout, and I've been saving my sandwiches and pizza, okay? That's all I wanted was sandwiches and pizza. By the time I was done taking photos with every single person, there was probably almost 100 people there. I go to the, the tray, and I didn't realize that I was with a bunch of people that work out that are off diet right now. So naturally, we're all savages, right? Pierogies, everything, pizza, nothing. I had a sandwich stashed away. Whew. Made my day. All right. Fork. Oh, sorry. There you go. Okay. All right. So appearance, cake in a box again. So again, I, I, you know, I guess it probably comes made like that. I don't know if this is how they make these cakes. Uh, the, the box itself is, I don't know. It looks, the box itself doesn't look anything like It looks like crazy. an ice cream. Yeah. Like, you know, um, when you buy ice cream in a box, that's yeah. what it looked like. To yeah. Uh, but I mean, when you open it up, it's got drizzle. I mean, not sure what these things wore. Maybe some type of like flower design, but they were broken. But otherwise, it looks like a um, cheesecake to me. And then it's got a, it's got like a little cool dish at the bottom, even though it's just, yeah. So I mean, the presentation once you open it, you take this out, you look like a, you look like a legend, mm -hmm. right? You get it out of the box, 
you just put it out. So if you go to um, if you go to somebody's house, don't just bring that box, okay? No, take you got to take it out. You got to put the sprinkling on, put it on a plate. Same thing with this thing. Once you get it, boom, 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 same thing. The gulab jamon, you know, maybe get a nice glass tray. Don't just like <laughs> drop the <laughs> drop the thing off. All right, let's eat this. Okay. All right, I'm going to go on the end here. Boom, get a nice big slice. See, so like it's filling. light. It's light. I thought it'd be a little bit thicker. It's pretty light. Mm -hmm. I like it. It doesn't. It doesn't taste dense at all. I was it thinking it was going to be like an ice cream cake, but it tastes. You know, it tastes like there's a lot of whipped cream in it. it goes or away quick. Sour cream, I guess. Yeah. It tastes a lot better than I thought. I was actually speaking to Ron about this, mm. and Ron's like, "Oh, Nary, you're not going to like. It's very earthy. Mm. I don't know what she meant by earthy, but it tastes good maybe, to me. Maybe there's no like dense toppings in it." Right, mm -hmm. <clears throat> so I think it's great. I I, yeah. I don't know, but I also haven't had breakfast today. I know I haven't had breakfast. So this is breakfast. this is breakfast for me. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's good. <laughs> All right. So what do we have next? Mm. Okay, too much cake here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. So what we have next is a um, it's called a mango bravo. So I need water now. Hell yeah. I taste the sour cream. Mm. So we have a mango bravo. Uh, this cake is a very popular dessert in the Philippines. And it was made by our very own cake maker, Aura. All right, so let me just bring this cake out here. Again, I asked for a, a, small, a small smump, not even a cake. I was like, is there some type of Filipino cuisine that we can show that is small? I just want a small piece. And this is what she delivers. It's beautiful. She says it's a small piece. <laughs> it's a cake. It's a full cake. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <fabulous>. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, for your gracious donations. <laughs> okay, so this cake, it is a soft butter cake with layers of cashew meringue You know wafers, this is going to be good already. Mousse, mangoes, and cream um, in more white cream, drizzled with chocolate syrup, and topped with mangoes. Ooh. It, this sounds yummy. So first of all, let's check out this cashew. Mm, the cashew held its flavor. Because this cake was cold. Usually when you like mess with the temperature of a cashew, it just makes it soggy. I it, find. it becomes soggy. It's not crunchy anymore. Now I'm not a big fruit, like cooked fruit. Like I don't even actually really eat fruit. I love fruit and smoothies and that's probably about it. So I'm curious as to how this is going to taste. And Aura made my 1000 cake yesterday and it was fantastic. Like it was hard to not eat it. So okay. presentation, you know, oh, it's a beautiful cake, cake box, right? Yeah. How would I make this a little bit better? I don't know, handwritten something on the cake or on the on a the note, box or a, on the a box, little yeah. ribbon or something. But otherwise, again, take it out of the box, put it on the plate, make sure everybody knows that you brought it. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. If you're really trying to be a legend. So I hear it slicing. Is that is it cold? This is cold. Okay. So she said to eat it like a like an ice cream cake. Look at that. Woo! I'm just gonna eat mine off your plate. It's a little bit uh, crispy. I'm wondering if it uh, should have been out a little bit longer. Yeah, no, there's no way. Is that how it's supposed to be? I don't know. Jerome says he's never had it. So she says it's like an ice cream cake. So I'm going to try it. Mmm. Mm. I understand now. It's a meringue cake. Mmm. So that crunchiness is the meringue. Oh my God, that cake. is good. Wow. How about the icing? Ooh, that's whipped cream. So yeah, this is meringue. So good. Made out of egg whites. Mm. Wow. It is good. I like it. Mm. Kind of tastes like a really Kit Kat, like a Kit Kat wafer. Kids are going nuts. All right, let me try this. Um, let me try this mango. Oh, the mango just melts. Okay, let me wow. This mango. Oh my god. I mean, you can't beat a, a, a homemade cake. Wow. That's good. That's that's breakfast worthy. I like this whipped cream. This is actually really good. Okay. Okay, last last bite. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. If anybody wants to come over. Mm -hmm. Come we over. Got a cake. Oh, we got a cake. cake guys. All right. Okay. Oh, we so, have one more. So, so yeah, Malin, yeah, let's get the next one. We got two more. We got two more. Well, let's do the electric flan first. Oh, okay. So because Aura made it again. I'll give you this. We want to show it. Clear okay. the table. 
John, can you grab this? Uh, just keep it up. Just keep it up. Keep it up. Yep. Okay. Okay. All right. So that's Cindy Gun. He zoomed in. All right. So guys, this is leche flan, meaning the milk of the gods. It means milk of the gods. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Oh my god, I'm so dull. I was like, really? I don't think so. <laughs> All right, so it's a sponge cake with custard topping. Okay, now this leche flan is so good. Usually there's like more drizzle. So, you know, like that gulab jaman, there's like the drizzle on top, but maybe it got soaked in because it was sitting. Um, but you know what? So, you guys know DJ Sinigang, and he makes those hollow hollow mixes. So, usually people put leche flan in. The halo halo, and it's really good. So it's like a frozen dessert. So I'm just gonna cut myself a little, little piece here. That's a plan in English. It's cream caramel. Mm. Cream caramel. So that's good. So it tastes like um, spongy, chewy. It Still good. Eggy. Still eggy. Yep. So it's like more of a dense sponge cake. Yeah. That's what I would say. But I mean, I can't. After having that mango, hard to eat. It is this, hard to yeah, eat. That, yeah, that mango bravo was fantastic. So, but it's tasty. And you'll you'll often see this at Filipino uh, get-togethers. So if you ever have it, again, it's more like a spongy cake, a little bit more dense. It's kind of like the mix of the galab jaman and, and uh, a sponge cake. Now we have everybody's favorite, right? <laughs> so for anybody that buys these things, okay? I remember as a kid, my parents would have these things. I've never gotten one of these personally. I might have, actually, I don't know. It's a, what is this thing called again? It's just called a fruit cake. It's so it's a fruit popular. cake. So what is it about the fruit cake? Why do people buy it? Mark says that this is a custard. Good call, Mark. Oh, yeah, that's good. Custard. So what is it about this fruit cake? Why is it popular? I don't get it. It doesn't look beautiful at all. <laughs> <laughs> it comes in this. It's heavy. It's heavy. Right? There's some Smell. green things in here. Smells good, actually. It smells like raisin bread. Okay, well, smells let's like try it. Liquor in it. There's no, no, no there's no liquor. Where'd you get this? I got it from No Frills. This was like six ninety nine, I believe. Six ninety nine. So that's not bad. All right, I'm digging in. All right, so density. It's the density I like, like a cookie. <laughs> it's nothing wrong with it. Nothing wrong? Okay, I'll try it. I remember trying this when I was in daycare and I really didn't like it. So, like, it's just bringing back memories. I just. It's good. It's raisins, good. yeah. Then why do people hate it so much? <laughs> is that because maybe people bring this and this is like their gift to you? Like, hey, Jerome, thanks for hosting. <laughs> that is your, yeah. Here's my contribution. Is that kind of what, what it is? This green thing fell out. Yeah, what so what's that? this green thing? I like it. I don't want one. You guys don't have to give me one. But. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's not bad. I don't like it's it. It's not a bad, it's like a quick dessert, I guess. Like, hey, what should I bring? Oh my God, I'm late for this. This, And I, they're out of pot of gold, so I'm going to bring a sponge cake or a... A fruit cake? Fruit cake. You know, this, I feel like you need to have a fruit cake with tea, plain tea. Yeah. And you need yeah, very little. You need plain very tea. little. I mean, maybe that's why it's so mm -hmm. small. Okay. So I think you need to cut them in small slices and mm. enjoy it with tea and that's it. Remember, this is a snack. It's not cake. Yeah. So here it is. How would we pair these foods, Okay. So we, I agree with the tea, a little stevia, a nice orange pico. With this, honestly, I need a glass of milk. <laughs> like I probably needed something just a little bit more, uh, you know, like mm -hmm. dunking a cookie in there. This, I would just have it by itself. I don't know if I'd have any, probably some water. It's probably, no, the mango, sorry, the mango, I would just have with some water, mm -hmm. right? Because it is on the sweeter side. This, this one, I oh, think yeah. the Italian cake, I think you need it with tea, no, coffee. Coffee, coffee yes. Yeah. Black coffee. Or a nice espresso. Mm -hmm. The goal of Jamon, water. Water. <laughs> yeah, but otherwise, man, everything was so good. So guys, when when you go out on your holiday gallivanting this this winter, then you know you want to try something do, different, right? Show up to a party, bring something awesome that you know people have never had. It's going to be a great talking talking feature. You know, it'll get people talking, and you know what, what brings people together is food. People love food, so bring yeah. something interesting and. Um, just try something new. And I want to give you guys a little fitness tip, okay? So everybody that's in the belly burn challenge that just wrapped up, I just did the two-week challenge. Here it is. To prepare for your big feast, your festivities, okay? It's going to be impossible. Like, I, how am I going to track this? A bite of fruitcake. You know what I mean? Like, 
I don't really want to do that. And if you can, guys can track all the way throughout to January, I guarantee you're going to lose weight before January 1st. But most of us probably won't. So let's think about some tips before we leave and then we'll send them on their way. What is a way that people can not gain 10, 10 pounds? Like I want to eat all this cake. I'm not going to lie. Like I can literally eat this cake right now. So how did I prepare for this today? Okay, I'm going to tell you. Well, number one, all I had this morning was a protein shake. Okay, and if my... If my dinner was later on in the day, then I would have just protein shakes throughout the day. Now, here's the bonus that I do with that is I, I have scoops of green supplements. So it's like all my vegetables because you still got to take care of your health as long as as well as your physique. So I'll have my protein shakes with the greens. I'll probably have three of them because I know my calories are going to be through the roof at night. So that's how I prepare for this stuff. What's your preparation? <laughs> My What's your preparation process? You know, that's honestly, I just drink lots of water. Just drink a lot. So you don't of eat? I you would, don't eat the um, If I know I'm going to have a lot of carbs, desserts, right? Yeah. I would drink a lot of water. I would have black coffee. Um, I would maybe do a quick pump, but I would also, oh, yeah. I would enjoy the process too, right? Like I'm enjoying all this. I don't want to not enjoy it, right? Mm. And be all grumpy. So just have fun. And then after that, just work out later, have some water later. Yeah. And just get back on it. Get back on track. That's it. Monday. Monday. <laughs> Monday. Never, never, never miss a never Monday. Never miss a Monday. Do and not miss a Friday. Friday. And a Friday. And a Friday. And never. And just Saturday. don't miss a day, okay? Just, don't miss just a one. Day. Just take Sundays off if you want or do something different on Sundays. So next week, we are going to go live again. And we're going to be featuring one of our members. And uh, she's actually, like, brand new. Only been there for a couple weeks. And she makes, she does catering for Jamaican food. And we've done Jamaican food before. But they're going to be doing it a little bit differently. So the husband, year round, does. I said, well, what what are we going to do if it's minus 50 out? She's like, my my husband is out there. So he actually cooks the food outside. I'm not sure if it's on a grill or, it, you know, remember when we went to Jamaica, they used to cook it in a barrel. So I'm curious as to how he's going to make this food uh, all outside. So... Jerome, <laughs> get your winter gear ready. Yes, be prepared. Get your winter boots, Neri. Get your jacket, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, we're gonna be going live next week. So, Neri, any final words? You guys, if you want some cake, please message us. Come over. <laughs> yeah. Our door is open. Or if you want to get that mango, mango or leche flan or any custom yes. cakes, Aura. Aura. Yep. yep. Okay. Thanks, guys, for tuning in. I'll see you guys next week. Bye, guys. <laughs> Oh, my God.